Yes, I was in, uh, invited to come and design and help to teach a course. There's several of us uh, teaching. Um, and it's uh, very similar to courses that I have done previously with my own software. The, the reality, uh, you know, like let's, uh, let's say your family, if you don't do a budget, uh, you sort of like live day to bit day and you have your fingers crossed and uh, you run into some ugly surprises uh, more often than not. Planning is a, uh, we can say planning is an essential practice, mm -hmm. uh, which isn't practiced by everyone. And the same can be said of, uh, of an institution, a, a business of any kind. Uh, sort of run it by the seat of your pants, uh, try to be c cautious, try to keep some reserves of cash just in case. That's one way to approach life and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of MFIs uh, as well. For lack of any th an alternative, for lack of a tool, they have to sort of do it uh, more basically. Mm -hmm. So if you have a tool that's within reach, uh, they can just, you know, you, they can plan, they can learn from that planning process, they can develop contingencies and think, uh, okay, uh, do I have enough? Is this price right? Are my costs right? Uh, do I have enough cash, uh, cash in the bank to satisfy the new clients that are going to come through that door in the next three months? Mm -hmm. right? So, uh, a planning, to, planning tools necessary. Mm -hmm. Not always available, um, and literally there are, and we all know this. Uh, uh, sadly, that that um, many of these the institutions at this scale are, I won't say completely see the pants, but they're uh, they're using uh, fairly rudimentary mm -hmm. systems, and this is an intent to help them uh, get better information. And they're, I mean, you know, ask any of them. Uh, they're they're dying to well, to have something like really this. There's really a need yeah, for it. They recognize. The need, they, uh, they clearly state that it's an unmet need. Well, right. So, um, in the, I've not developed, I've uh, not been involved. Uh, the tool's been under development uh, for for some years by other people, and um, I was brought in basically for two two reasons. Uh, one is to kind of like look at. Um, study that software, mm -hmm. uh, give lists of uh, ideas on how to, to make it, uh, make the next version even better sort of mm -hmm. thing. And then the second is to how do we teach people how to, like in the case with any new software, as you know, yeah. and anybody who's opened up new software say, wow, why can't somebody teach me this? So mm -hmm. there's, you know, courses are, need, are, are needed. And uh, again, I have lots of experience in having taught people how to do planning yeah. and use software okay. before. So I was invited to help guide, participate in that process yep. so that Microfin is not only a tool, but it's a tool with, with, a, uh, with a, 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 a way in place to get people to be able to use it effectively. Mm -hmm. No software is ever complete. I mean, mm -hmm. I, again, I've developed, I've worked on my software for 20 years and the, the list of uh, thing, the wish list that people gave me got relatively shorter, but it never disappeared, right? That's why versions and software is, is designated versions. Like, well, okay, here's one, version one. We know it isn't, uh, doesn't do all, have all the bells and whistles, mm -hmm. right? Um, and that's why six months from now, you're going to see a new one. Uh, so that's the way, that's way software goes. Um, the key thing is to, that the, the first version out has to, has to do meet, meet the basics and has to work reliably. And that's what some of the testing we're doing yeah. right now is to ensure that that's the case. Yeah. The basics uh, are in place, and we've got good, a very reasonable list of uh, changes and improvements that we want to make in it before it's officially released.